In this video, we're going to talk about conditional formatting. You can use conditional formatting in any Excel spreadsheet, as well as the pivot tables themselves. So um, when you're using a pivot table, you're typically analyzing a lot of data. So it makes it nice to be able to visualize or to conditionally format stuff based upon numbers being greater than or less than certain amounts. Um, so you can identify what potentially like your problem areas are. So here we have a pivot table and I'm going to go to conditional formatting on home, my home tab then conditional formatting. And then there's, there's kind of the canned rules that are pretty easy to set like uh, the data bars. This is kind of neat. Um, uh, actually, I want to highlight this. So like um, data bars is nice. Then the icons, you could, you could use, do different icons and based upon like the rules you want to set. Um, one really uh, easy way to set a rule is to just um, do a greater than or less than a certain amount and, and highlight the value. So let's say for everything under 850 or let's make that 750. Yeah. And then maybe a, a light red fill, something like that, which is nice. Let's delete that rule. So now let's say um, you can actually get pretty complex with this conditional formatting where you use formulas. So if I want to put in my net margin now, and um, let's take off our October, September dates. Okay, and now let's say I want to identify, let's format this to make this a percentage. They want to identify like what, um, what, what clients have less than a net margin of 85%. Well, if I highlight this and I do like I did before, where I just add a rule less than, um, Like, or let's say I want to do something, uh, the revenue less than 700. Well, that's going to put, you see, notice how it puts all my my net margins, it highlights them as red. We want to do something um, a little bit more complex where we put use an actual formula. So let's go to conditional formatting. I've highlighted all my cells. And um, I, let's first set it on this one cell for net margin. And we want to find out any net margins that are below 85%. So um, I have a formula here that I built that uses the AND function. And basically these three conditions have to be true in order for um, it to return a value of true, which then would format it based upon what I want. So is the value a number? Is the column header equal to sum of net margin and is it below 75%? Let's make this 85%. And then, so let's go ahead and take that formula and paste it in here. So I'm gonna go to conditional formatting, new rule, and we're gonna choose use formula. So I paste it in my formula and then I'm going to choose my format. So I'm going to make it red if it's below 85%. Click OK, click OK. Now that's just for that cell. So now um, I want to apply this to this entire thing. So I'm going to, to my entire pivot table. So I'm going to go back to conditional formatting, manage rules, and let's apply this rule to all my values here. Click apply. Great, so now um, it found my net margin that's below 85% um, without affecting anything in my revenue columns. And so I can, I can change my, I can filter and my, my conditional formatting stays with uh, my pivot table as I change it because of the the extra logic I put in to make sure that the column is there, it's a number, 
in, um, in less than 85%. And you can download this, this spreadsheet that will have that formula in it so you can play around with it.